Hello everybody, this is Diego Brando on Magic Online, and today we are going to be playing some Green Eggs and Ham. Uh, which, it's Fangrintron, but since it's now started running Golden Eggs, and a lot of the deck is green, it's Green Eggs now. That's just how it works. Uh, uh, but, naming aside, uh, this deck 5 0 in the most recent dump. Uh, so, uh, I decided that it was the most interesting looking list, and so we are going to play through it today. Uh, so, basically, it's a Tron deck, but with a very different goal from other Tron decks. Whereas most Tron decks win by, uh, assembling Tron alongside a Flicker Lock, uh, this deck just wins through just pure unadulterated mana advantage. We are going to be casting big things faster than our opponent, and the hope is that our opponent will not be able to deal with our big things. Uh, so, for big things, we have Self-Assembler. Uh, so, Self-Assembler, whenever it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an assembly worker creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shovel your library. Uh, so, it basically, when it enters the battlefield, it fetches another Self-Assembler. Uh, so once we start getting a lot of mana, we can play, like, two of these a turn, and uh, our, most decks have a hard time dealing with a uh, constant stream of large colorless threats. Like, 4-4 uh, is very big in Popper. Uh, the only thing that sees played that's bigger than it is Gurmag Angler, and I haven't seen Gurma a lot of Gurmag Anglers around. Uh, but, yeah, so... Uh, we're also running Mole Drifter, just an evasive body that draws cards, the best value creature, just all around great card. Uh, Fangren Marauder. This card absolutely shreds aggro. Uh, whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, and this also works against Affinity, uh, because if they sack an artifact to Atog, Fangren Marauder's ability goes on the stack, we gain 5 life, their thing gets plus 2, plus 2, but yeah. So it nullifies Atog as a card, but also we're running four chromatic spear, sphere, two or four chromatic star, and four golden egg, which all can be sacrificed for various boons, uh, either for mana or in golden egg's case life. Uh, so we can just gain a ton of life as well. The, it like a five five again, very big body, really hard to deal with. Uh, but yeah. Additionally, we're running one Great Furnace and one Tree of Tails, uh, and that's so that we can trigger Fangren Marauder's ability off of crop rotation. Basically, we sacrifice an artifact land, counts as an artifact, hit in the graveyard, so we gain five life. Uh, just a nice little piece of tech. Uh, on the top end, Olmog's Crusher, uh, we have three of them. Uh, I've seen some lists run for, uh, it's just... It is a very all-in threat. Unlike everything else in the list, it doesn't generate value when it comes down. Like Fanger and Marauder, you can play it, immediately sack a Chromatic Sphere, gain 5 life. Uh, Olamog's Crusher, it takes a turn to really start impacting the board. And the problem is, ironically enough, Olamog's Crusher isn't honestly that great in Popper, just because during the Nowhere Seas play, uh, Galvanic Blast sees play, and two of those will take it down. And a lot of decks go wide with permanents, like Elves, even Boros can, like, just sack useless Prophetic Prisms to it, uh, and chump it. So, it is... It's scary, but it's not... It's not a game-ender in a lot of matchups. Uh... But we do have Rolling Thunder, which we just have, when we have a bunch of mana, we can just Rolling Thunder for lethal or wipe a board. Yeah. Uh, in the sideboard, three Kirk Clan Shaman, great against any creature deck that uses the ground. Uh, three Circle Protection Greens, great against Boggles, because it doesn't actually target. So you can choose a green source of your choice. And because of the way choosing works, it lets you select hexproof targets. Uh, kind of similar to how voting works. Uh, circle of Protection Red, great against Burn, Red Deck wins. Uh, two Pyroblast, just taking out those pesky blue decks. Three Earth, Earth Rift. 
honestly, I'm not crazy about Earthrift. Uh, it, land destruction is only kind of mediocre against Tron. Like, it, it'll punish a bad Tron hand, but it doesn't do anything against decent Tron hands. Uh, so it is there for that. I could also see Borden in versus White Black Pestilence or Boros, but honestly, I'm not too crazy about Borden in versus Boros. Maybe Pestilence, just because they always run for Bounce Lands, but even then, like, I'm a little dubious of it. And then Tranquility deals with Boggles. Uh, and yeah, that is the deck. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into the games and... Uh, as always, I'll see you in round number one. Alrighty, round number one, we are against, uh, Jybird. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand, we have a Drifter, two tr different Tron lands, two Mana Rock, or two, uh, just Cycling Artifacts and a Self-Assembler, so this hand's pretty decent. Uh, our opponent is on the play, unfortunate. Alright, Dismal Backwater, so there's some sort of blue-black shell. Uh, Alright, Chromatic Star is fine. I think, uh, hmm. Unless they leave up Counterspell this turn, I think I'm going to, uh, Sac Chromatic Star. Because, er, do I want to Sac Chromatic Star yet? Because we're going to be able to land this Prophetic Prism. Yeah, I'll, I, alright, the second... Golden Egg. I'll just sack Chromatic Star. He's yield. Alright, we get Fangren Marauder. Play out the Prophetic Prism. He's yield. Draw a card. Alright, Ancient Stirrings is a good draw. That'll help us dig for the third Tron land. Alright, they leave up three mana. Okay. So either way, we're getting a Tron land eventually. Uh, I'm going to lead on Ancient Stirrings. Though technically they could let this resolve, then counter map. They don't let it resolve. Uh, not unexpected. I am going to play out map. Play out Great Furnace. Pass the turn. Uh, next turn we're going to be able to get 5 mana. Uh, so that's going to be enough to land this Drifter. Uh, hopefully we they don't leave up counter mana. Uh, alright, sweet. They tap out for Augur, grabbing a Preordain. That's fine. Plays Dimmer Aqueduct. Alrighty, upkeep draw. Urza's Tower, here we come. Boom, boom. And I'm guessing that blue-black is going to have a hard time dealing with the resolved mole drifter just because drawing two cards and the amount of mana that we're going to be able to produce. Another Tron land's actually a pretty great draw there. Yeah, we're just going to... As long as we don't run out of threats, this match should be in the bag because our mana has worked out. Turn 4 Tron is pretty expedient. Opponent's probably going to have to spend a removal spell on this drifter. Two on top. They Doomblade the Drifter. That is fine. Spending hard removal is perfectly acceptable. Alright. They have counter mana up, so I'm a little hesitant to run out self assembler. I think what I do is. Hmm. This is a little tricky. I'll run out self-assembler. Make them have it. They have it. Yep. Counterspell. Golden Egg. Draw. Alright, another Fangrim Marauders. Okay. I think this expedition map is going to get us a Haunted Fengraph, probably. Though I might just want to get another Tron land. Crop rotation isn't bad. Do I fire off crop rotation now? I don't think so. I don't have 
I don't really want to get rid of this great furnace just yet. Alrighty. Uh, opponent preordains. Two on bottom. That's good for us. Another auger of bullets. No cards in hand. That is what I want to see. Problem is, they don't have a clock. They don't even have an angler down. We do have to worry a little bit about angler, because that can trade with a lot of our stuff, but... Alright. Frank Grimm. Alrighty. Now it's time to gain some life. Let's, yeah, always yes, always yield. Cycle, er, crop rotation, great furnace. I could get another Tron land, or I think I just grab Cave of Temptations? What's the right play here? Let's grab Haunted Fengraph. I should have played out the other Fengren first. Whoops. Fangrin. They have a counter for this? They have Deprive. That's interesting. I don't think they're running Mystic Sanctuary, because look at the amount of non-islands they're running. So they're just running Deprive as, like, counterspell number five? That's interesting. Very interesting. Alright, they have a removal spell. Or is it Gurmag? Could be Gurmag. Yep, it's Gurmag. All right, Cave Temptation's a decent draw here. Uh, let's me... First, I'm going to sack onto Fangraph. Cast Drifty. They have Exclude. Nope, Solmanip. Alrighty. Draw. Let's get another Haunted Fangraph. Draw. Alright, we get another Fangrin. Pass turn. That Gurmag Angler is annoying because now I have to wait to swing in with the Fangren, but I can also cave a temptation, so they will be able to outsize it by blocking with Augur as well. Ah, they play a Mole Drifter. That's not something I wanted to see. They play an Island. Again, not something I wanted to see. Get in with their Gurmag. Alrighty. If you think you can race us, I am totally okay with that. Self-Assembler. Yep. Always yield. Yes. Self-assembler. I'm going to get this down while they don't have a counterspell. Self-assembler. Nope. Swing in. They take five. Pass turn. They probe. That's a pain. That's one of their better draws. Yeah, now we lose Haunted and... Uh, that feels real bad. Real bad. Now I'm not super confident about our position. Though we do have three Little Mugs Crushers left. 
What did they discard? Just two lands? Okay. They have another Gurmag. Looks that way. Gurmag number two. Yep, Gurmag number two. Maybe they are running Mystic Sanctuary. That seems... Nah, that's way too greedy. There's no way. I hope. Golden Egg. We draw Urza's Tower. Hmm. I don't know if I pop Cape of Temptation just yet. Yeah, I think I wait. Just having another colored source seems nice. I don't love where we are right now. They're going to slowly chip in with that Drifter. Luckily, we have enough of a life cushion that it doesn't really matter. Problem is, if they start playing more Drifters, then we're in a not-so-great spot. Alright, they play an Augur. That's a pain, but okay. Something notable about this list is it doesn't have any main deck removal. Like, our hope is just to go bigger than our opponent. And Gurmag Angler, counter spell. That really bites. Prophetic Prism. Prophetic Prism. Getting more of these out is nice. It means I'm more likely to sack Cave Temptation. I'm definitely going to pop this Chromatic Star. Max Star. Popker Max Star. Expedition Map. They get counter it? Come on. No. Didn't counter it. Alright, crack Expedition Map. Get another cave attempt. I don't think I have anything I want to sack it on just yet. We're through a large portion of our deck and still haven't seen a lot of our drifters. Hopefully we can get one to draw out a counter. We just need something to draw out a counter. They got another Gurma- nope, they have another drifter. Alright, now things are feeling less and less good. Luckily we have a ton of life, but they are gonna we are gonna mill out before them. Hopefully we can overwhelm the board before that happens, but I'm not super optimistic. We could also sandbag rolling thunder or something. Alright, I'm just gonna run out old mugs. They have enough mana that we don't really need to we're only hurting ourselves by waiting them out. Alright, they counter. That's good though, that gets that counter spell out of the way. We still have a un We still have a not great amount of Tron like we still have a bunch of lands left in our deck. We do only run eighteen, so we have let's see, one, two, three, so one or five, we have like five lands left in our deck. Okay, we draw a drifter. Resolve, 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 resolve. Please resolve. I'm begging you, resolve. Oh, sweet drifter victory. Alrighty. Green, ancient stirrings. Get a crusher. Crusher. Put counters on Crusher. I don't want to make 
them have to spend as much resources as possible taking down Crusher. I didn't want to put counters on Drifter, because even though that will be able to block it, yeah, they just disfigure. Alright, they play a Dismal Backwater. They Forbidden Alchemy. I mean, that puts their library down a fair bit. They put Island Disfigure and Bajuke Bog in the yard. Another Forbidden Alchemy. Okay. So now they're going to mill out faster than us. So can they win? They have six damage a turn in the air. They're not getting in. Interesting. All right. Expedition map at least gets us some more life. Get our last tower. Move to combat. Hmm. I mean, I could get away with that, but I think I just leave him back and play it safe. Oop. Alrighty. They sack two augers. I should have put uh, more counters on Olmog's Crusher. Alright, so we're going to kill the two Gurmags. Cause it's Gurmag girl, love this girl. If I had put the two counters on it, then I would have been able to uh, take out a Drifter too. That might have been worth it. But as is, we thinned their numbers, got a bunch of anglers down. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. They still mill out for us. Uh, how many counter spells have they used? So deprive, counter, counter, counter. So they still have one counter. That's a pain. They have seen a bunch of their deck though, so yeah. They're gonna have the best cards. The question is, is that enough? Alright, they get in with Drifters. Yep. Alright, another Fangren's good. That means I can get in with this Fangren. I could start attacking, but with everything, but I think I'm just gonna swing in with Fangren. Alright, they trade. Unless they have a Disfigure. Yep, Disfigure. I'm guessing. Or Echoing Truth. Or Decay. Yeah, Echoing Decay. Well, I'd rather that than double Echoing Decay taking out all my self-assemblers, but yeah. Still not great, but eh, acceptable. We sacrifice a creature. I'm gonna sacrifice a self assembler. Who to thunk? We gain five. Opponent. Chainer's Edict. Alright, we're gonna. They are gonna get our board clear here, I think, which is a pain. Let's gain eight. Yeah, these edicts are bad news. Question is, can they kill us fast enough?
I think the answer is yes. All right, Chromax Sphere isn't actually the worst. Green. All right, Golden Egg. That's nice. Sack, gain, pass turn. I probably shouldn't have even swung in with Fangren earlier. Chainers, yep. They get in with everything. Yes. Yep. Drifter would be a nice draw. That's not Drifter. We don't want them drawing into their last counter spell. Here's to open it's the bottom card of their library. If we can resolve a Rolling Thunder, then we're actually pretty good. Ancient Stirrings. Alright, it's actually going to matter how I stack these. But... Crusher. Just going to eat up an Edict, but still. Eating up an Edict's fine. Yep. Bites the dust. They get in. Draw. Urza's mine. Okay, now we have no more lands left in our deck. We also are going to mill out faster than our opponent. That's a problem. In retrospect, should have anticipated that. Draw. Alright, this is it. My final Emerald Splash. If this doesn't work... No! Counter spell. No. No. Oh, that was unfortunate. Alrighty. Well, post board we get Pyroblast. Hmm. I don't love crop rotation versus a counter spell deck. So I'm going to cut those. And yeah, just send it back like that. Ready, draw, uh, hmm, I'm gonna keep, this hand's risky and I don't like having two self-assemblers, but on the other hand that gives us backup if one of them gets countered. Alright, run up Chromatic Sphere, pass turn, alright, Tron Land, oh, well we hit the worst Tron Land, but 
It's better than not hitting the land. Take Urza's tower. All right. Uh, run out chromatic star, pass the turn. They're going to run out auger. Yep. Auger reveals dispel. We're not running any instants. Maybe they really don't have any cards that are playable in this matchup. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of other reasons why. Alright, I'm gonna get greedy, sack and egg. Please yield. Alright, we get a mole drifter, which I'm not above evoking. I'd rather not evoke it, but we'll see. Alrighty. Opponent, can get in for one. Yep. Another auger. Gets them. Preordain. Play. They are running Mystic Sanctuary. Man, that seems greedy. Blue. Maybe I should have uh, tried Ancient Sterns before that. Yeah, I definitely should have. That was a mistake on my part. Alright, we do have a Cave of Temptation in hand, so we're not going to be want for colored mana. Definitely do not want uh, that self assembler. Pass turn. Problem is, they can still counter it. Uh, I could run Cave of Temptation out. Cave Temptation lets me Pyroblast Counterspell. I think I do that. Ideally, they'd tap out. Ah, Duress, that's a pain. They can take my map or my Blast. They take the map. They play Diz Dimmer Aqueduct, bounce the swamp back to hand. I don't know, like Mystic Sanctuary just seems super greedy to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I'm gonna run out self assembler here. If it draws out a counter, good. If it doesn't, fine. Nice, we're getting a counter. I'd much rather they spend a counter on it than a removal spell. Because ideally, we want their counters to hit our dorks and their removal spells to hit drifters. If you catch my drift. Alright. I'm going to run out the next self-assembler too. Oh, hmm. Change of plans. Eh, is it a change of plans? And let's run Golden Egg. I'm feeling lucky. Eh. Perhaps I felt a little too lucky. Draw another Golden Egg. Alright, that wasn't the worst. This gives us access to much more colored mana. Draws us through a decent bit of our deck. We get another Tron land we already have. We are a very long way through our deck, and we have not hit a mine, which is a little troubling. They've forbidden alchemy. That's a pain. They put Dispel, Preordain. They have multiple Dispels. Alright, preordains. What do they see? One bottom, one top. Preordains. Two top. That's a little worse for us. 
All right, Duress is going to take our Pyroblast, making their Dispel even more useless. I don't think I mind that. They get in. They have three mana up, so enough for Solmanip. Uh, they don't have anything they can get back in the yard, though. So, I'm not super worried. Let's self-assemble. Alright. It lands. We search out another self-assembler. Max here. Uh, let's crack it. Alright, just a cave of temptation. We're going to be able to hard cast this Olmog's Crusher soon. Opponent. <coughs> Opponent's also two minutes behind on time. I don't want to win this through time. Alright, Doomblade. Doomblade is fine. Again, rather have the removal spells on the creatures that gain value. They probe. Alright. That's going to get... I think that gets Marauder out of my hand. Hmm. It's actually a difficult decision. Maybe self assembler cave of temptation, honestly. They discard Mystic Sanctuary to Maraqueduct. Not just Sanctuary, two Sanctuaries in deck. Then we have one non Sanctuary Island out. I really don't know if this deck can afford to be running Mystic Sanctuary. They're delving. Yep, Gurmag. Gurmag. Alright, that makes Haunted Fangraph worse, but that's fine. Actually, it kind of makes Haunted Fangraph better because it means we won't get back use of self assemblers, though we would have liked that Drifter. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Okay, we hit a Drifty. Blue cast. Come on. Money, money. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to Ancient Strains for mine, but nope. You can just cast it. Alrighty. Pass turn. Going to need yield hard removal for that crusher. Even if they have it, we do have Haunted Fangraph. Ah, they have multiple hard removal spells. Alright, that's not so great. So we are going to need to uh, land this Fangren, I think, here. Augur of Bullets hits Forbidden Alchemy, that's fine. I think we know their last card in hand is Dispel. Or did they discard Dispel? Crud, I forget. Alright, another Fangren's real good. Real good. Fangren. Green. Always yes. Always yield. Always yes. Ancient stirrings. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure what to grab here. I guess I grab Fangraph. I think I'm just going to sack this while I still have double Fangr Marauder. Sacrifice Fengraf. Get me a Drifter. Pass the turn. We're back up to 24. In a decent spot. Still have another Haunted Fengraf on the field. They play Augur Bullis. That's good. Can't flashback an Edict this way. They get a Counterspell. That's less good. Alrighty. 
Chromax Sphere. For lucky they counter that. No such luck. Oh, another Drifter. That's Chef's Kiss. Mwah. Beautiful. Counter spell. Yep. Got it. Drifter Part 2. Don't tell me. Okay. Yeah, they couldn't have had another counter spell. We know their hand. Swamp, Angler, and Dismal Backwater. Interesting that they discard another Angler. Alrighty. Green. Ancient Stirrings. Crusher. Fanger Marauder, Prism, Map, Mine. Dang it. Uh, I guess I'll sack it now while I have a 1 and 2 attaining a Drifter. Alright, got another Crusher. Not the worst. Alright, so now we're at 44 life. Our opponent is a, a significantly has significantly less time on the clock. I don't love winning through time. But, like, when we have to play it out, pretty much. Alright, they get a Nile Spell Bomb, so I'm glad I popped a Haunted Fang Grapple, I did. Olmox Crusher. They have a counter. They have a counter. Alrighty, Crusher number two. Tree Tails. Again, for some evasive beats. Still have two edicts in the yard, so I gotta cast something. Why not cast the edicts? Has our opponent forgotten about them? Rolling Thunder is nice. Maybe they want to leave a car spell, though. Hmm. I'm going to have faith in our opponent and say they want to leave up Counterspell. Oh, I didn't put counters on Crusher. I should have put counters on Crusher. That was dumb. At least now they either have, they have to choose between killing Crusher or losing the mana for Edict. Unless they sack Nile Spell Bomb, which they should do. They didn't sack Nile Spell Bomb. If they sack Nile Spell Bomb, they could. I don't know. I'm going to wait for them to tap out for the Edict. Once they do that, that will feel safe rolling Thunder in them to death. Though again, this is on the presumption that they know they have Edict. Oh, I did not realize they had passed the turn. Alright, they're still not running out Edict. I'm good, just... Put a little faith in them. Yeah, they're flashing back Forbidden Alchemy. Okay. They put in Diabolic Edict in the yard, as well as Gurmag. Interesting. They draw a Dismal Backwater. I almost said Dismal Strands. That is not a magic card. So clearly they know how to flash back cards, they're just not. Gonna gain, gain, draw, drift, I'm 
unfortunately this does mean that if they spend their counter here, which it looks like they are going to do, yep, they soul manip, get back a Gurmag. Alright, so they didn't have a counter spell that we cared about for Rolling Thunder. I still want them to tap out. Alright, they have a Doom Blade. That's a pain. But not the end of the world. We still get in. They still are under pretty strong pressure to tap out. Alright, they play Forbidden Alchemy. That's a pain. But they're also going to mill out much faster than they can kill us, I think. At this rate. Yep, you're going to cast a Gurmag Angler and it's going to be real scary. Except I can just cave a temptation on my finger, Marauder. Yep. And they are below five minutes. Sack cave a temptation. Prophetic prism. Move to combat. Get in. Obligate to jump. They can run out like. Ah, oh, they have a Doom Blade. Nah. Well, on the upside, this does mean that we can roll in Thunder. For lethal. Yep. Alrighty, yeah, I think we just send it back like that. Hope that we can beat them, or hope that they can't beat us before time runs out. <sighs> I don't like this de deck versus disruption, so I'm not sure about this matchup. Because we just... We don't have that many threats when you look at it in the grand scheme of things. So if they can, like, keep a decent tempo, then it's really hard for us to come out on top. This hand I am definitely going to keep. Uh, we have two different Tron lands and a way to find a third one. Uh, yeah, it's got, it's got the goods. All right. Prophetic Prism is a nice draw, even if it's not exactly what I'm going to be playing on turn two. I think the play there is just Ancient Stirrings. Sack it. Please yield. Ancient Stirrings. They spend a counter. We'll play out Power Plant. That's why I didn't play the land out. They're more likely to... The less information your opponent has at any given time, the better. Uh, a lot of times I forget to... I forget that, but it is important. Alright, Chromatic Sphere Resolves. I'm not actually going to crack it just in case this gets countered. It does not. Always yield. Alright, we draw another Perfect Prism. It's not the best draw, not the worst draw. It's better than a Haymaker. Right now we really want... Alright, they Forbidden Alchemy. Not exactly what we want them doing. That means they can land an early angler, and early angler is the way that they get out of this game. Alright, they discard, dep or they get rid of Deprive Forbidden Alchemy and Stormbound Geist. That's interesting. Preordain. Yeah, I think we're going to be looking down an angler here. Which is not going to be good, though. If we get a Fangrim Marauder, we'll be fine. Yep, angler. Just as I thought already. I'm going to sack this, get green. Uh, Alright. Pyroblast is actually a pretty great draw. I'll play a Chromax Sphere. Uh, do I actually, or do I want to save it for... I think I want to save Pop in it for later. Okay. Nah. That didn't work out too hot for us. Okay. Opponent gets in for five. Do not want to lose this game. Ooh. Better to be lucky than good. Alright. I think I'm actually going to lead on green. 
Fangren. Counter target spell if it is blue. Which it is. They have another counter spell. Oh joy. Alright, that's a pain, but we still have the mana advantage. Uh, so I think we're actually going to be a fine here. Even though they did land that early angler, we'll hopefully be able to land this Fangren. They've already shown three of their four counter spells. They do have one Deprive, though, so you have to watch out for that. Or we don't, because they're going to tap out for Drifter. Or another Angler. Another Angler it is. Alrighty. Uh, hmm. If we actually could hit 12 mana here, I don't think there's a way that happens. Yeah. Uh, but, okay, so... Green... Fangren. Sack it for blue. Alright, Ozias. He's healed. I don't think I want... I want this Drifter to chump at least. Alright, opponent. If they have removal, that's the worst case scenario. Oh no, Duress is bad. It's better than removal though. They concede! Hooray! We got there already. That took forever, but on to round number two. Already, round number two, we're against Probosh. <sighs> or Probosk is whichever one you prefer. Anyway, uh, this hand is good. We have a Wait Get Tron. And at a pretty expedient rate, too. Problem is colored mana. We're gonna need another egg. It's possible I just get Tron and just hope to top deck an egg. They're on red black monarch. Oh, we just draw Tron. Okay. That makes this decision making process a lot easier. Hopefully they don't have divest. Already they don't have divest. Sweet. Uh, I don't know how exactly... Well, I don't want to say I don't know how they beat Moldrifter just to then lose. Uh, but, yeah, this seems like a hard start for them to beat. Especially now that we have the self-assembler and we can drop double next turn. Alright, they chittering rats. Okay. Self-assemble. Yep. Gonna use self assembler's ability. Gonna self assemble again. Gonna use self assembler's ability. Alright, now we just need colored mana. I guess we did thin our deck a little. Alrighty. Opponent. Another chit urn rats. Yep. Alright, that's gonna keep us from colored mana, but other than that, we're fine. Alright. These rats are annoying. Not being not having access to colored mana and keeping this drifter in hand is a pain. But I think we'll get there eventually and yeah. Self assembler is just I think it's gonna be hard for this deck to beat. Self assembler. Nope. No more. Play out haunted Fengraph. Possibly should have kept that in hand, but I want it out and I'm gonna play out like. Alright, so they trade. That's predictable. Uh but we are overall fine with that. I think this deck runs Gary. I forget, but pretty sure. I played it not that long ago, so probably should remember. Whoops. Alright, they fork bolt, get rid of Drifter. Edict. Nope, something else. What is it? Gurmag. Ooh, that's a problem. That's a pretty big problem. 
And another crop rotation is not what we need to solve that problem. All right, colored mana, and we're golden. Colored mana lets us crop rotate, gets just solves all our problems. All right, Knight's Whisper. Bajook Bog. Gets rid of our graveyard. That's a pain with Haunted Fangraph out. Changes Edict, also a pain. I will double block if they attack. They don't. They are going to be able to flashback turns, either not too far away. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Get me Cave of Temptation. Stat. Cast, Mole Drifter. Another Cave Temptation would be nice. Alright, that's equally acceptable. Crusher. Pass the turn. Pass. <sighs> ah, they terminate. Boo! Boo, I'd say! They're going to get back that bog. I think I want to... Hmm. Do I want to fire off Fangraph? Because there is a half chance that I get self-assembler. I think I wait for Fangraph, honestly. Until I have a better target. Alright. Gonna... Drift away. Man, was this deck and not getting me? Hmm... <sighs> I think I forgo the five life here. It's yield. All right, Fangren. They bolt a drifter. That's okay. Pass yield turn. I think this deck doesn't want to run into any Tron variant. Yep, they flash back Edict. Uh, I'll sack a self somewhere. Get that sweet, sweet five life. Wait for that Juke Bog to come down. Yeah. I want this Drifter to be in the graveyard for... Uh, 100 Fangraph. Alrighty, Golden Egg. And do we have Lethal? We might have lethal. I believe that is lethal. They just concede? Yeah, they conceded. Alright. Well, good to know I can bluff Rolling Thunder if need be. <laughs> uh, I don't think we even change anything. We could bring in Earth Rifts, but... Nah. <laughs> don't, doesn't seem that good. I think I'd just rather have creatures. Don't really want to cut any threats, don't want to cut any eggs. Yeah, this list is pretty tight. Crop rotation is nice. Not sure if we leave up crop rotation or protect our stuff from land destruction. Maybe we do, but I don't know. Depends. It all depends. Uh, this hand seems fine. Yeah, this hand seems fine. Ancient Strains can guess to a second Tron land, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to keep this. We're also on the draw. Alright, Bloodfell Caves. Alright, Expedition Map is nice but not what we need just yet. We're going to want another Tron land before we get to that. Divest, uh, going to take either Prism or Map. I'd probably take Prism. They could also take Drifter. But we'd still be fine. We'd have Self-Assembler. All 
All right, yeah, they take Drifter. Trying to fight us on that beach. Okay, we get a Chromatic Star. We need a land. Oof. This is not what uh, I wanted. But we can always crop rotate it away. So, not the end of the world. Chittering rats would be a pain. Other than that, I don't know what they have that we care about here. If they land early monarchy, oh, that's what they have that we care about. Oh, already. Green. Uh. God, what do I do? I think I chromatic star. Pass. Yeah. That land destruction goes in a bad time. Duress going to take a rotation, a map, our prism. Maybe prism. I don't know. Yeah, prism. Makes sense. Okay, we got another land. That's good. Again, because we can just crop rotate away lands we don't need. Sack Fengraf. Get me tower. Or no, I should have grabbed tower last. Whoops. That's a punt. Put it on the punt counter. Let's see. 100% punt. They land an early thorn. That's a pain. Alright, we draw a tower. Get Urza's power plant. Why not? Pass turn. Alright, Crypt Rats, that's fine. We're going to be able to land self assembler so which will trade with Thorn probably if they leave back to block or if they just have a removal. Either way, not great. Do not like them having the monarchy one bit. Uh, Alright, Rolling Thunder is nice, though we're not really in a position to cast it. Uh, we are going to grab Urza's Mine. Uh, self assembler grabs us another self assembler past the turn. Alright, we're recovering pretty well from that land destruction, all things considered. Can't run too many things out into that Crypt Rats. Because they can pop it for four, which would blow us out if we had all our self-assemblers out. It's so like they said, don't put all your self-assembling eggs in one basket. They got a Kiba Gang? What's... yeah. Ah, oh, they have another Thorn of the Black Rose. Alright. Let's see. If I play out Golden Egg... Oops. Tap too much, but... Ah, yeah. oh, I drew a self-assembler. Merge forever. Alright. Red, red, all right, sweet, get that monarchy, come to papa, all right, if they can get the monarchy back and remove our self-assembler, that's a pain, but other than that, yeah. They've drawn a lot of cards, so I wouldn't be surprised if they can remove the self-assembler. Jenner's Edict takes our self-assembler. Not unexpected. All right, Juke Bog wipes our yard. Which is, eh. Alright. Another Crypt Rats. Ugh. That's a pain. Alright, Ancient Stirrings. Let's grab a... Yeah, one of those. Self-assemble. I'm gonna miss a land drop here. Just, uh... Do I even actually? I think I don't. I think I just run out rocks. 
Please yield. All right, Drifter is a nice draw. If they have an untapped land, they'll be able to flashback Edict, which would be a problem. Uh, hmm. Again, we don't want to play into this Crypt Rats too hard. Yeah, untapped land, so are they going to flashback Edict? Next turn, I think we self-assemble Mool Drifter. I think that's a uh, reasonable play. Still leaves us with the self-assembler in hand. So we're not too poorly off. Blue. Drift. Zealed. Cave Temptation's okay. No. Uh, maybe I should have played out Van Graaff there. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna leave up crop rotation though, just in case. your move opponent gets in mm. already I like your gusto do they think I'm that afraid of a Kiwi gang or are they just gonna drop another thorn of black rose or Gary is it Gary looks like Gary or is it Gurmag no it's neither none of the above alrighty yeah Crypt Rats wipes. We are pretty low on life. Could really use... Yeah, Gurmag's coming down. Gurmag comes down. Don't like being within burn range. Does not feel good to me. Luckily, we have a Golden Egg that we can pop if we absolutely need to. Alrighty. Self-assembler. Sure. Whoops, there's an on. Uh, yeah, I think I start popping eggs. Golden egg. Alright, there we go. Fangrin Marauder. Green. Always oh, yes. Always oh, yield. Sack tree of tails. I think we get uh, another copy of Urza's Mind just to keep safe from land destruction because we're not going to be able to cast the Mole Drifter either way. So, might as well. Alright. Sacrifice self assembler, gain five. Flash it back, gain three, which is actually a gain eight. Sack haunt or sack fingerin. All right, they draw. We get another Cave Temptation. Not great. Uh, not great. Good cast Mold Drifter. Another Fangrin. Green. Fangrin. Another Fangrin. Alright, pass turn. Problem is, opponent does have a lot of cards. That is the biggest pain. 
so that we have let them have the monarchy for a long time. That's not great. Can they flash back? Yeah, they can flash back. Ugh. Gross. Oh, I didn't... Well, I'm going to run out Fangra Marauder next turn. We'll be fine. All right, they Bajuke Bog. Makes our Haunted Fangraph not as good. Still okay, though. Again, the problem is they just landed the monarchy early. Does that mean they're going to mill up for us? I'm not actually sure. We've drawn through a bunch of our deck. Hopefully they're low on answers. We have not hit... Have we hit any of our crushers? Does not appear so. Alright. Green. Cape Temptation. Green. Green Marauder. Sack it for the life. Yep. Yep. Alright. Opponent has a lot of cards in the hand. Land destruction's fine. Unless it's double land destruction, that would be a bummer. Destroys our haunted Fengraph. Interesting. Maybe I should have kept that back in hand. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, they bounce Bajuke Bog or Yep, Bajuke Bog. I think do they have both of our fen graphs down? Looks like it. Yep. So Bajuke Bog won't really matter to us. That is a pain. Alright, Gary. Acceptable. We get trained for three. Alright, only two mana up. I think that's enough to justify me sacking both Kate's at Temptation. Though this does get bad if they find a way to blow up our prophetic prism. Alright. Ancient Stirrings. Ulmog's Crusher. Combat. Get in with both. Pressure that life total. They trade, chump. Yep. I don't love trading in combat there because, like, we really want to make them have to spend every last bit of removal they have. Alright, Triggering Rats, not going to do much. Knight's Whisper, that's a pain because they can probably draw into more removal. I'm not scared of Bolts and such, though multiple of them is a pain. Uh, we're afraid of... Thorn of the Black Rose is a problem. Uh, not the worst thing ever, because we do have more Olmog's Crushers. Uh, did I order the Olmog's Crusher on top of my library? Or on top of the bottom of my library? I hope I did, otherwise that's going to be a big pain. Ugh, the Star of the Black Rose. <sighs> really not digging it. Expedition map. Crack Expedition Map. Yep. Gain. Get those gains. Alright. We have two more Olmog's Crushers, one Mold Drifter, a whole bunch of eggs. Attacking with both. Annihilator 2. Not really a problem for them at this stage in the game. If we get a bunch of Annihilator triggers, 
then that's an issue, but I think the Thorn is gonna, yeah, Thorn Black Rose. Chumps, unsurprisingly, pass turn to our opponent. Do you have a Doom Blade or Edict or Terminate or whatever? Another Thorn of the Black Rose? Ugh. That's a pain. Chittering Rats, yep. I think we still mill out faster than our opponent here, which is a problem. I think we gotta try and win this through damage. We have two more crushers in deck. Can't be that hard. Should have left the blue mana up, but meh. All right, hit a dead end. Gonna get in. Don't have any more rolling thunders. <sighs> that thorn. Thorn is such a pain. Bloodfall Caves. Yep. Choking Sands, our Cave of Temptation. That's Bank that Outlets. That was one of the things that we are hopefully going to be able to buff a Drifter with if we drew Drifter. No, I'm not loving our chances. Crypt Rats, that's a problem. Yeah, and since we're milling out first, ugh. Uh, gross. Really wish we had more than one copy of Rolling Thunder. We just need their hard removal to be at the bottom of their library. Come on, one time. Molmog's Crusher. Please don't have it. They can also pop Crypt Rats. Funnily enough. Alrighty. Popping Rats. We're popping rats. Looks like we're popping rats. Alrighty. I am totally fine with this. Alrighty. Play that out. I have a bad feeling we're going to mill out before we can win, though. Land. Yeah, our opponent's got to have hard removal. Grey Merchant's fine. Hit chumps. Yeah, Prophetic Prism. Great Furnace. Yeah, we're not getting there. They'd have to blank so hard. I just don't think that there's a way... Yep, Chitrin Rats. I think that seals the deal. We need to top deck exactly Crusher, and then they have to blank entirely for a number of draws. Yeah, and I am going to scoop it up. Oh, man. Not good, not good, not good. Not good at all. Death Touch is such a pain. <laughs> Alright. I think I keep this. Then. 
I could turn one map or turn one sphere. I think I turn one sphere so I can Ancient Sterns. Save map from third Tron land. Sphere. Pass. Turn one. You got a divest? No. I was hoping they did. Okay. Uh, Alrighty. See if I can get it with stirrings. I cannot. We'll get golden egg. Uh, drifter. Rest in a order. Map. Alright, if they have choking sands, then we're in a bit of a bind, but even then, like, because we've spent our map, but even then, like, it's not the end of the world. Possible I should have gotten the ma other map instead of the golden egg. Uh, we'll see. Alright, perfect prism's a fine draw. Nothing wrong with that. Now's their window to choking sands, but they need another untapped land. They hit another untapped land, and choking sands are tower. Alrighty, that's unfortunate. Haunted Fengraph, let's see, fine draw. Would rather have that. Oh. Well, there it is. Please don't have more land destruction. That would really suck. Don't do it. Don't do it! Okay, that's bad, but not the worst. Uh, Drifter is nice and that's evasive. Uh. Yeah, I think I'll sack the egg, try and find another threat. Alright, Fangrin Marauder is another threat. Unfortunately, not one I can cast. Uh, bunch of Fangrin Marauders. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to play out the Tron land, try and maximize, maximize my mana. Bleh. Alright, they got Edict. Nope. Whisper. A careless Whisper. Now they Edict. Alright. That's a pain, but not the end of the world. Alrighty. Green. Fangren. Fengraf. Well, I can still just get back Drifter. Pass the turn. Land destruction, that's a pain. We're probably going to end up trading here, which is not ideal. Okay, crop rotation is nice. So I can do tree of tails, crop rotate, always yes, always yield. This takes some of the pressure off of us, too. Problem is, they have the monarchy, so they can just win the long game. Uh, Yeah, I think we... Another Fangren. Green, I guess. Alright. Yep. Sack it to gain three. We have Oodles of Life. Move to combat. Gonna leave one golden egg behind. Swing in with Fanger and Marauder. They block and kill it. Rest in peace. Problem is, because of the monarchy, they have a full hand. And yeah, they terminate. So, yeah. Luckily we have a self assembler Okay, now we're going to lose another Fangren or a Drifter. One of the two. Or maybe self assembler Depends. I can double self assembler next turn, but I can also double Drifter. Depends on what they think is the worst for them. Double Drifter means that it gets around chump blocking. Alright, they take a Drifter. I'm going to lead on Assembler, then Drifter. Uh... Because while I could Drifter potentially hit another Tron land Fangren, uh, 
I just really don't want to draw another self-assembler. So I want to minimize my odds of that happening. Alright. Ah! Damn you, self-assembler! Go and drifter now. They have a pyroblast? They have a pyroblast. Alright. That's a pain. Alright, no instant speed removal. So, sorcery speed removal? Let's see. They can also untap land edict us, which it looks like is what is going to happen. No, Thorn of the Black Rose. Alright. That's a pain. Uh, yeah, I think I just Fangren, Hope for Land, Olmog's Crusher, I think I actually, alright, move to combat, get in with the Assembler. I could Crusher here, but I think the better play is just double self-assembler. Yep, they block. Ugh, Thorn of the Black Rose is the worst, because it is just hard removal in this deck, or versus this deck. Yes, I would like to search up one self-assembler, please. And now they find out that one of the cards in our hand is a self-assembler. Oh, the shame. Alrighty, pass turn. Thorn Another Thorn of the Black Rose. Well, at least it's going to be hard for them to get the monarchy back if they... Have all their creatures wasting away. Problem is, they can combine a bolt with the rat to take out our self assembler too. Uh, Alright. I think I could play out Fangren, gain some life off of this trade, but I think I'd much rather just cast Crusher. Because either, there's no way I'd double spell here. And yeah, I think if I'm going to cast a single spell, Crusher is going to be the best one. Yep. Chump with chicken rats. Man, all of our games have gone super long. Are they not blocking? I didn't even show a Mole Mox Crusher. Okay. Interesting. I will gladly take that monarchy. I'm not going to be able to hold on to it, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, that pays off for them. Though they are also at a pretty low life total, which I would not want to be at if my opponent was playing Rolling Thunder. Hmm. Alright. Self Assembler. We'll put it back on top. Churn Rats isn't that much of a. Alright, they Gary. Yep, Gary. Good old Gary. They can uh, take out my entire board through blocks here. Or, no, they can't. Well, I'm not talking about. Alright. Green. I don't think I cracked the golden egg just yet. Don't think I'm that desperate. Attack the whole gang. <sighs> Crusher's going to take some lands. They're still at flashing back Edict Mana, though. Huh. Alright. They trade there. Nowhere else. Interesting. Another Gary? We have enough life that Garys aren't really an issue. Yeah, Gary away, opponent. Duress is going to take our Prophetic Prism. Better than Duress taking, uh, whatchamacallit, Rolling Thunder. Alright, Ancient Stirrings is nice. Ancient Stirrings. Uh, another Olmog's Crusher. Please, and thank you, I put that back in the wrong order, whoops. 
And they concede! Alright. We're 2 and 0. Oh. God, this video is going to be long. Alrighty. Welcome back for round number 3. We have a hand that we are snapping off. Uh, we have a bunch of redraws and turn 3 Tron. So, not much more we can really ask for. Foundry Street Denizen. Oh no. That's not great. Uh, we need a Fangren Marauder. Or there's a non-zero chance that we die very fast. Burning Tree Emissary would be bad. Okay, Goblin Cohort. Luckily, a, as Red Deck wins is apt to do, our opponent is running out cards in hand pretty fast. This isn't going to be unwinnable, it's just going to be a pain. Get me yours as mine. Pass the turn. I don't think this deck can beat a resolved Fangren Marauder. Problem is, we have to resolve a Fangren Marauder. Alright, they play a Burning Tree Emissary, followed by Valley Dasher. So they are just going off. Chewing up our life total and spitting it back out. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, Ancient Stirrings. Not great. But I guess technically not the worst. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh. I could run out Self Assembler here, but then I can't crack the egg. Yeah, I think we just perfect prism, it's yield, draw, sack the egg, cracking the egg. Stirrings. Alrighty, I'm gonna take the star. Marauder, drifter, drifter, tower. Alright. Please run out, have run out of stuff. No! I said run out of stuff, not have stuff. Now we're down to one. I think we lose. Like, I don't think there's a sequence of draws that lets us not die here. Yeah. Alrighty. Unfortunate. Actually, what would we have drawn? I guess we'll never know. Next moto. Alrighty. Luckily, we have three circle protection reds. Uh, I'm going to cut... What do I cut? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Rolling Thunder doesn't seem that good. Crusher is good. Marauder's good. I guess Drifter? I don't want to cut Drifter, though. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. I guess crop rotation. Yeah. Send it back. Like that. Let's see what our opponent has got in store. Alrighty. Uh this isn't a great hand, but we have an expedition map, we have Golden Egg, we have Fangren Marauder. So we got a little bunch of things that we want to get to, but it's going to be a question of actually getting to them. Uh, another Tron land is our best draw, uh, preferably before we crack the expedition map, but I'm not averse to cracking it anyway. Gotta watch out for Smash to Smithereens, that might be a pain. Uh, Alright, Tron land, nah, well it's better than no land I guess. Goblin Cohort. Jackal Familiar. Now we just pray that they don't have a Bushwhacker. I don't know if Bushwhacker is just our death, but... Uh, I'm gonna save the map crack until we draw another Urza Land. Though it's possible I should have just played to the Best uh, out possible out by uh, 
All right, 10. All right, we drew hers with mine. Get me yours as power plant. Uh, do we need to? Yeah, I think we still die here. Actually, I didn't do the math. Okay, we don't just die. I don't think we survive, though. Yeah. Well, I said earlier that this deck can't beat a resolved Fanger Marauder. Uh, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> they can, if that Fanger Marauder is resolved when we're at one life. Alright, that was unfortunate. I think we really wanted to hit Circle Protection, but, nah. Such is life. Well, on to round number four. Already round number four, we are against Viazafur. Uh, this hand is great. I am going to keep it. Alright, Dismal Backwater. Chromatic Star, pass turn. Drawing another Chromatic Star isn't great, but it gives us another play. All right, Augur Bolus. Not great, but it does less resolve Ancient Stirrings. Please yield. All right, we draw another Urza's Mine, which at the very least is another land. Grab Urza's Tower. Stack them like that. Pass turn. Alright. Again, against a Dismal Backwater deck, we want to resolve. We want our creatures to hit the battlefield so they have to spend their removal on it. They ponder. No shuffle. Unfortunate. Play another Dismal Backwater. Alright, so this Drifter is resolving no matter what. I would also like this. Uh, Olmog's Crusher Resolve, but... Yeah. Already cast. Please yield. No. No, wait. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> wait a second. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to not discard the hand size. <sighs> Technically not the most mana efficient thing, but the thing that makes me feel best inside. Alright. Let's see, so next turn. Alright, we're gonna have nine mana. Yeah, I po it's possible I should have played out Golden Egg, because this turn I can... I could have played out Crusher and Map, but meh. Who's to say? Two on top, not great. What is it with... I don't think... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but... At least you should... I don't think you should play Mystic Sanctuary with Bounce Lands. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. Maybe the interaction's too strong not to play in a blue deck. I don't know. Alrighty, pass, yield, turn. Opponent gonna uh, kick probe? Nah. They can play probe without kicker, that would also be fine. Two on top. Story of my life. So my opponents never seem to bottom with preordain. They chainers edict. Gets rid of my Crusher. Unfortunate, but meh. I think I play out Tree of Tails next turn, so I get the most value out of this Fanger Marauder. It is possible this Fanger Marauder doesn't resolve at all, so. They did not attack. Interesting. 
Perhaps they have no need for our measly life total to get lower. Or they accidentally F6'd. Ooh, tapping out. I like that. Gurmag Angler. Less a fan of that. Yeah, there's no way I can get back Olmogs. Either way, it's not guaranteed I get back Olmogs, and there's no way I could cast it in the same turn. Uh, so... Hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna... Do 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 yield do 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 Hope they don't kill it. That would be bad. On the ups ah, they killed it. On the upside they did it exile an edict with their Gurmag anywhere. Well Mystic Sanctuary entered untapped and they got back a Doom Blade, so maybe I'm the fool. Who's to say? Fangrim Marauder. Cracked Expedition Map. I could get another Haunted Fangraph, but I think instead I'm going to uh, get Cave of Temptation just to fix my mana for good. Green. Alright, Crop Rotation means I am going to get Haunted Fangraph. Let's get back something. Alright, we get back Drifter, which isn't the best, but it isn't the worst. I could have sacked more golden eggs there to get more life, but I think I want to keep my colored mana. Alrighty, Probe, Kicked, uh, is going to take both of my Power Plants. Power Plant, Power Plant. They discard a Chainer's Edict and a Reaping the Grave. Don't care about either of those. Getting in with Gurmag, saucy. What you got, opponent? Dimmer Aqueduct. I. It feels wrong to me, you know? I mean, yeah, they're going to get value out of it, so maybe I am the fool, but... I don't know. Something about it just seems off. Ancient Stirrings. Get a Crusher. Crusher, Marauder, Prism, Mine. Crusher. Fengraph. Get back a hey, Marauder. Opponent takes it. Five to the doom. Would really love to untap with this Olmog's Crusher, but they do have. Do they? I think they have a Doom Blade. So, yeah. Gets back Probe, okay. I I prefer that to them getting back Chainer's Edict, to be honest. Yep, Doom Blade's Crusher. No surprise. Getting in. They got removal? What do they got? Hmm. I don't love their odds of out racing us. So I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to trade. I can understand that, I guess. Yes. 
No, not stop yielding, always yield. Max Fear, move to combat, get him. One thing I will say about Fanger Marauder, it is very hard to race. I want to keep the time advantage in this matchup. Probe, yep, you're going to get our hand. Whoop. There goes a tower and an egg. I guess that's a redraw, but... Nah. Much rather have that than rolling thunder hit. Probe is their probe discards island and dimmer aqueduct. All right, they disfigure our drifter. They got an edict or something. Chukbog. I think our fangrafts are yeah. We bend both our fangrafts, so no issue there. Alright, gonna crack this while I still have two fangrins. Uh, I'm actually gonna shuffle my library first uh, to maximize my chance of hitting Noel Mox Crusher. Because I think we bottomed it. I guess we get another Cave of Temptation. So we can cast Rolling Thunder. Uh, Alright, I guess we get self-assembler. Self-assembler. Yes. Grab self-assembler. Self-assembler. Yes. Grab self-assembler. Get him. They can trade if they want. Alternatively, chumping is also fine by us. They only have one card in hand. Does not really matter what that card is at this point. We might have looked out what uh, uh, probe's going to get our uh, self-assembler, which is a pain, but not the end of the world. Discards, Dismal Backwater, and another probe. Well, I guess they don't have any cards in hand. Yeah, Drifty Boy. That's... This does mean I have nothing specific that I want to pitch to Edict. Which is a bit of a pain, but not the end of the world. What you block? You could also concede opponent. That would also be nice. Yep, they're gonna take five down to two. Their board is wiped. They have three cards in hand. What is their play, Drifter? All right, that is bank. It draws two and lets them trump. Do they have two removal spells? No, they do not, and they concede. Splendid. Splendid. Well, Pyroblasts, down crop rotations, do not want them versus a deck with Counterspell. Gain a crop rotation Counterspell is not where I want to be in this match.
already. Uh, this hand is very keepable. We got Stirrings. We got two Tron lands. We got Prism. We got an egg. We got all the things we could want, except for Urza's Tower, but details. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just run out map. Oh, they don't counter it. Okay. Interesting. Stirrings. Getting another prism is very nice. Uh, let's get self-assembler. Marauder, Fengraph, Star, Star. Pass the old turn. Augur? No, preordain. Alright, they're gonna need an untapped blue source. <sighs> I don't know. I just don't know about Mystic Sanctuary. Like, this deck already has so many lands that are tapped. Again, maybe the interaction's just too powerful, and I'm not giving it enough credit, but I don't know. Maybe we draw an egg or stirrings? Nope. Another Urza's Tower isn't the worst, though. Hopefully they don't get Counterspell left up, though. We can Pyroblast, so... Either way, they bounce back to Juke Bog. Alright, they do leave up Pyro... or er, Counterspell, but we do have Pyroblast, so... Probably fine. Nah, they remove Soul. Well, I'm gonna remove, remove soul. So there. Hmm. Self assembler's ability. Yes, I would like another self assembler. The party does not stop. Golden egg. He's healed. All right, we get drifter. Hopefully, if we can draw out counter. If we can draw out a counter spell on uh, self assembler, maybe, then we can resolve the drifter. But do we want? Hmm. Which one do we want more? Huh. Interesting question. I guess we want self assembler less. Okay, we have two mole drifters, so I think I just drift away. Yep, bites a counter spell. Now I can run out self assembler. I'm interested what the right pick there was, but hmm. doesn't really matter. They don't have an angler yet, though they are getting to a point where if they tap out, they can achieve an angler. All right. I think angler is the worst case scenario for us. Yeah, okay, they don't have an angler. All right, Fangrim Marauder is nice. I'm gonna try right now self-assembler, see if they bite there. They do, it gets countered. Uh, Fangrim. Move to combat, they do have Doomblade. So, it is most likely that Fangren is but a temporary visitor on this plane of existence. I guess I cracked the egg. Do I even? Oh, my, what the hell. Give me some life. Always yes, always yield, always yield. We get another Fangrim Marauder. Gain three. All right, pass turn. Opponent has a bunch of cards left. Probe. I think we discard Fangrim Marauder here. As much as I hate to, I just think Mole Drifter is better in this scenario. We're not lacking for good ground game, but 
We just need to not get crushed by their card advantage. Yep. Goodbye. The Juke Bog. That's a pain because that means we can't get back anything with a uh, Haunted Fangraph if we draw Haunted Fangraph, but yeah. Drifter. Alright. Ancient Stirrings. Take Olmog's Crusher. Blast. Fangraph. Map. Map. Uh, I guess I want Cave of Temptation on the battlefield. I don't know. I just like my mana being nice and neat because I'm OCD. Augur of Bolas. Yep. Can you get rid of my stuff though? Well, no cards in ha hand with Augur. And awesome! Ooh, boy. That felt pretty good. Alrighty, we're three and one, heading into our final round, round number five. So I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, round number five, we are against Capivara. Uh, I am going to play first, thank you very much. Hmm, I'm going to keep this. It's a little bit dodgy, but we have crop rotation, which means that, uh, we're honestly okay with having a slower start because we can play catch up on our land drops. What I mean to say is we're fine playing out non tron lands because we can just sack them. Hmm. I think we lead Chromatic Star. Pass turn. Do I sack Star? Two? Alright, Boros. Let's see how this matchup is. I know versus normal Tron, it's pretty good. That's probably an understatement, but yeah. Zealed. Okay. Another Chromatic Star. I'm just going to play out Prism. Alright, Ancient Stirrings is a nice draw. Let's me know which Tron land to get. Opponent. Oh, it's Bully. Alright, I think, again, against normal Tron, great matchup against us. We'll see. Alright, let's get Urza's Power Plant. Drifter, self assembler it's not going to matter. No, oh, we draw ours as mine. Alright. Sack you, get ours as tower. Play out map. Pass the turn. I'm guessing Fangren Marauder is going to be real nice to have in this matchup. O ring, eh? On our, like, Prismax or Prophetic Prism. Are they going to hit our expedition map? Hitting our expedition map would be fantastic. Come on, hit it. Do it. Nah. Boo. 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 Alrighty. Prophetic prism. Why search for Tron when you can just draw it? It's that easy. I'm going to lead on Drifter. I want to have untapped mana when I finger in, just in case they have more O-rings. That did seem like an early O-ring spend to me, though. I don't know. Alrighty. Our opponent plays another Seeker of the Way. No land. Faithless Looting, alright. Seeker gets beefed up.
discards two lands. All right. So their hand's not great. They got two cards and a land. Yep, you can get in, opponent. Does it not not gonna matter in the face of all this life we're about to gain. <sighs> Green. Boom. Play a golden egg. I'm not gonna sack uh, any artifacts yet. I think. I think I wait. Yeah, I just wait till the next uh, Marauder. All right. Move to combat. Get in. I don't think we're at danger of dying. Pretty sure. They'd need a lot of bolts. A whole lot of bolts. God journey nowhere. Seeker away. Yep. It's all well and good, opponent, but yeah. Not looking too hot against our board. Hmm. I think we just uh Fangren. Gain a bajillion life. We could drop Crusher, but man, this is more fun. Sack. Always yes. Always yes. Always yield. Always yield. Let's get. Uh, we have two prophetic prisms. We don't need a cave of temptation. Cast Mold Rifter. Get a crop rotation. Alrighty. Don't think we need that just right now. Uh, I'm not going to swing in with Fangren Marauder because then they might blow us out with uh, Prismatic Strands or such. And uh, not super into that. Faithless looting. That is fine by me. Discard prismatic strands and palace sentinels. Alrighty. It's good by me. No. Oh. All right, I guess I'll sack golden egg just to get the maximum amount of life. Because I'm not going to, if they do what I think they're going to do, which they might, um, and leave back a, they could also just flashback faceless looting for very little value uh, to get that final prowess trigger. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like they're flashing back Faithless Looting. Yep. Well, we're going to take a bunch, or we would, except I'm going to chump with Mole Drifter. We're going to take a fair bit. But, uh, don't think it's going to end up mattering. Because they have no cards in hand. Uh, and... Unfortunately for them, we still got more life to gain. Though we don't have any eggs in hand, so technically we're not gaining any life just immediately. Crusher. Assembler. Sealed. Yep. Grab that self-assembler. Prophetic Prism. Draw another self assembler. Whoops. Let me get my hand the right size. Move to combat. Get in for a bundle. Pass turn and wonder how they're going to beat this crusher. I think the answer is they don't. 
maybe if they like battle screech get a bunch of tokens defeat annihilator but i don't know i don't love their odds Yep, get my last self assembler. Assembly boy. No. Self assembler. No. Oh, I hit yes by mistake. Alright. Haunted Fengraph. Get the Chromatic Star. Move to combat. Get in with the gang. Good old colorless creatures cannot be prismatic strands. Opponent sacrifices two lands. Still sticking through it. Blocks. Blocks. They get a trade. Looks like they're going for the trade. That low value prismatic strands trade. I don't think this ends the way they want it to. Alright, so they're gonna gain nine. Take four, because they'll name blue. Lose two seekers. They're casting electricery for more prowess triggers. Because that card isn't getting any better anytime soon. Alright, so they're gonna gain 12. Well, more accurately, 8, but yeah. Alright. Well, we still got a bunch of guys. They're down to 4 mana. And only one Seeker of the way. They flash back Faithless Looting. I'm just gonna pass turn. I don't think there's a situation where I crop rotate here. Though I probably shouldn't have F6 just so I could sack Max Sphere in response. But they don't have anything. They discard Pillage, main board. <sighs> Opponent is bringing the spice. I will give them that. They're bringing the spice. Alright, Tree of Tails is nice because I can sack it to crop rotation. And nothing else. Alrighty. Crusher round number two. Yeah, it was that or Mole Drifter, so either way we're getting a decent pull. Uh, but yeah. Swing in with the gang. It gets through already. They got any more uh, Prismatic Strands? Eh, it's not going to matter. Journey to Nowhere, I assume hitting Ulmog's Crusher. Does this keep him alive? It might keep him alive. Maybe it wouldn't have kept him alive if I had Cave of Temptation. Probably would have done it on Drifter too. Thraben Inspector. Alright. Actually, no, I don't think this keeps him alive. Because, yeah, I can just, uh... Alright. I'm just gonna do this. Fanger Marauder. Get me Cave of Temptation. Can I only sack that at sorcery speed? Nope, I can sack it at instant speed. Doesn't matter what it gets me. Gets me a drifter, that's fine. 
they're still going to take a lethal here. Oh, I drew a crusher anyway. Hmm. Alrighty. Get in with everything. And... Yep, you can chump, but that's not going to save you from 20 damage. Alrighty, opponent had a decent start, but just couldn't fall through. Uh, yeah, what do we even change? Kirkland Shaman's pretty useless because all the creatures have flying. Uh, if they're running Battle Screech, I mean, we didn't actually see any, but I assume they are. I could bring in Tranquility. I think Tranquility might actually be worth the slot over Rolling Thunder. Because Rolling Thunder just seems very bad against the deck with that Mapers Max Ran, so it's possible they don't keep any in. Hmm. Yeah, I just like Tranquility. It's too cute not to run. That's probably a bad uh, <laughs> reason, but... Nah. Alright, this hand's fine. Gotta watch out for those main board pillages. Alright, Thraven Inspector. A small pain, but... Chromatic Star. Next turn, will Ancient Stirrings. I mean, if they have Artifact Removal, I guess we Prophetic Prism, but I don't see that. Yeah. They would need an untapped mana source. Alrighty. They get in. Sacrifice Kermax Star. Oh, he's yield. Alright, Ancient Stirrings. Gets me Urza's Mine. Marauder, any order. It's not going to matter because we're going to search up the last Tron land. I'm wondering what the first threat we play is. On principle, I want to make it Olmog's Crusher, but I think that does just eat a... Uh... What's it? I think we want to land Olmog's Crusher. Probably. Sack. Get me Urza's power plant. Luckily, uh, if they pillage, they are going to pillage for Urza's tower. Uh, so we have a backup of that. So, yeah, we're pretty lucky in that regard. Again, this is why <laughs> against good hands, land destruction is just not that good against Tron. Seeker of the way. Gonna get in for two. That's fine. Mold Drifter City. Alright. I kinda want a double spell here. Just cause it's better against Journey. Yeah, I'll do that. It's just safer. Hopefully I can draw out their removal earlier. Uh, yeah. I could also Drifter, but I want real bodies so I can start assembling a clock. Just casual 8 power on turn 4. Boros Garrison. Squad Hawk.
Reveal one squad hawk. All right. Tranquility. Okay, maybe it's not looking so relevant right now, but one day. <laughs> uh. Ulamog's Crusher. I should have swung first, but yeah. All right. This does mean that they can journey Olmog's Crusher, get in for a six, which isn't great because we don't have any way to gain back life at this moment. Four mana, that's not journey mana. Pillage. Dang it, and we showed our double Urza's tower, so. Alright, well, luckily we have Olmog's Crusher out. Don't do it! No! Damn it! God damn it, Bobby. Now I'm gonna have to tranquility. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. I think I... Do I even leave the creatures back, though? Like, I... Secret of the Ways a Risky Block. Mm. Tranquility. Give us back our crushy boy. Mm. Go like this, just so I don't just lose to Rally, but I lose to Rally anyway. Yeah, I lose to Rally anyway. I should have just swung in with both. Whoops. Though, I mean, I also lose to a stiff breeze at this point. Mm. Mm. Don't like that, but we have Drifter. Unfortunately, we don't have Tron. Could really go for Nurse's Mine off the top. Alright, they tapped their flying creature. Seems odd, but I'll take it. Squad Hawk. Searches for two more Squad Hawks. Or no Squad Hawks revealed and they have two Squad Hawks in hand? No such luck. All right. Again, stiff breeze knocks us over. They really want us down to seven life, don't they? Hmm. Interesting. Well, oh. oh, drifty boy. All right, that works. All right. Again, we died rally. But it, wouldn't they have won if they rallied last turn? I forget, but I think they would have won if they rallied last turn. So if they have rallied, they probably would have used it. Right? Right? Please tell me I'm right. Squadron Hawk, that is fine. That's not rally the peasants. Oi. Alright, Battle Screech. That's not good, but that's not rally the peasants. At this point, we need to draw Fanger Marauder, or we are going to be pecked to death. I 
Okay. Draw Fanger Marauder. One time. Mm. Sack it. Game life. Don't know if that saves us, though. Maybe I should have played to Fanger Marauder there. Possible. No! Unfortunate. I think we lose here. I think we go on the offensive here, just because that takes out the most creatures. I think they just win, though. Pretty sure. Yep. Alright, unfortunate. They got us that time. Not having any fog is a little hard. And we just didn't find any Fangrim Marauders, and we really needed to find Fangrim Marauder. <sighs> unfortunate. Alrighty. Round number five, here we go. This hand, very keepable. Got crop rotation, ancient stirrings. So we have the components. We also have Fanger Marauder, which is very nice. Very nice indeed. Opponent mole gang to five. Also nice. For us. Less nice for them. Alrighty. Upkeep draw. Except we skip it. Because we're on the play. Like being on the play for game number three. Always a good feeling. Windscarred Crag. Ancient Stirrings. Find me a tower. Unfortunately, bottom of a power plant, but we're going to shuffle anyway. Water and Hawk, bit of a pain, face of damage, mm. uh, but hopefully we'll get around that. Come on, top deck, top deck the missing piece. Nah, not that lucky. Yeah, Squadron Hawk does dig him out of the mulligan a little bit, which is a pain. I'll pass turn, keep up crop rotation if they try and pillage anything. Squat and hawk, no lands, no lands, no lands. Actually, I'm not even sure if I want them. I have no lands. Maybe no action would be nicer. Alright, Boros Garrisons, they got the lands. Problem is, we need colored mana. Something we do not have a lot of right now. I think I go for it. Crop rotate. Usually I would be a little more cautious, but right now I'm throwing caution to the wind, baby. Alright, we got a chromatic sphere, so 
better worky than good. Always yield. Yes. Get me a self assembler stat. Need some more color sources though. Perfect prism would be very nice. Very nice indeed. Really don't want them to pillage me here. Bell screech. Bell screech. All right. Get a flashback. Bell screech. I think that means I round mole drifter here. I don't love sacking the egg before I can land the finger marauder. Actually, yeah. Do I even round mole drifter here? Let's see what we draw. Hopefully, we draw more eggs. All right, we drew more eggs. Uh, green. Fangren, Marauder, Sack, Ford Green, Always Yes, Always Yield. Alright, we got Crusher, which is not bad. Uh, Alright, part of me wants that Severe, but the actual pick there is <sighs> Prismatic. Alright. Swing in. It's good to get a clock going on him. Problem is, Rally still puts us in a bad spot. Because we can gain a decent amount of life and Rally won't care. I uh, think I want So, I could land Elmog's Crusher next turn, but I think my sequence of plays is going to be Prophetic Prism Mold Drifter. That gives us mana left over and a flying blocker that can block proactively. Hopefully we won't get removed and can, we can buy enough time. Alright, Squadron Hawks, Squadron Hawks. Yep, they get in. They sure do. Already another egg is good. Please yield. Cast, drifter, yield. I think I crack an egg here. It's not really where I want to be, but I just want to make sure I get my value out of my Fangor Marauder. Alright, we're 22, which is a good life total. Nice, healthy, strong life total. Hopefully we can buy time with Grammatic Star so our Mole Drifter makes their attacks uh, non-profitable for them. They can flash back both sides of Rally here, which I don't know if that's lethal, but certainly isn't good. Okay, that might be lethal. I have a bad feeling that's lethal. Yep. Mm, yeah, that's lethal, isn't it? Oh no. Yikes. Not great. Not great at all. Yeah, we are going to lose. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, they just went wider than us and uh, got there. Yeah, no fog seems weird. Alrighty, so we ended this league three and two. Uh, not the best, but definitely have had worst leagues, worst leagues, uh, especially in this series. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, deck was interesting. I think there's definitely a few choices I would change. Earthrift still don't think it's very good against Tron. Don't think it ever has been. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, feedback's appreciated. Uh, let me know how you like the video in the comments. And stick around, because uh, now that the holiday season is over, we're going to resume with regular uh, uploads of Flavor of the Week. Uh, so yeah, this has been Diego Brando on Magic Online, and I'll see you guys next time.